What is going on? It is Sketchy Live Monday once again. Here episode, we are. episode, Here we are. what? Season five, episode 16. Episode 16, season five. Five episodes. That's a lot of. It's not five episodes, it's five seasons. Seasons. That's a lot of art. That's probably like 100 episodes, at least. Yeah, we'll have to go back and totally we'll count the to full. Totally count. I'm sure Hank Dutton probably like, has the full. We need to do a celebration for our 100th we, episode. We've already passed it. It's like 106. Maybe. Yeah. So that'd be cool to find out, though. So yeah, maybe. You know, maybe somebody out there in the, in the Army or want to count it up <laughs> and let us know. Guys, Monday night. Monday night sketchy. What is going on? Hopefully, you? I am John Jalopy, and with me is always the lovely, the talented, the vivacious, the supply, supple. Oh. Um, Eddie B. Yes. Right yes. across there. Holding it all together. The yes. linchpin. I remember for many episodes, I called you the linchpin, and you're like, what does that even what is mean? The linchpin. Yeah. So I, I learned a lesson that day. Did you, do you know what it is? It's Still. the thing that holds everything together. Okay. In the engine. Huh? Is it an engine? It's somewhere. <laughs> you were so good. And then you did your normal thing, which is like, hey, let, let me embellish a little bit because I want to sound like I really know what I'm talking about. And I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, guys, I want to start off by saying last Tuesday was my birthday. As, oh, as some of you know. Okay. I, I did want to say thank you to everyone oh. who reached out because I did not personally. Thank yeah, you, you didn't thank you. anybody. I am so sorry. Busy week. Busy week. Yeah. But um, excuses, it was wonderful. Excuses are like elbows. Everybody's got them. Johnny, what are you drawing for us tonight? Let me go ahead and split screens. Hey, you. tonight we're going to do, uh, we're going to do, so we went to Disney Springs over the weekend for ADB's birthday, and uh, there was a lot of cool, my favorite place to go there is a, a little nook it's a gallery it's called the art of disney and uh has a bunch of different uh disney artists and you know guest artists and sculptors and painters and you know different mediums they got a person in there that's like sketching disney disney tunes and all kinds of cool stuff and there were a few art pieces in there that were really 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 neat that were so so simple of uh, uh mickey and minnie and and the gang uh, it just made me go, let's do a drawing tonight depicting a scene, but we do it in a very simple, simple form. So this may be cheating to some saying, oh, look at you, you're going to do a really quick, but what, this is really where we're getting down to the essence of sketching. Um, the idea is just to get an idea down. This might be something we could roll into a full-blown painting uh, or, or evolve it even further to we'll really get into super detail and correct, you know, correct everything. Um, but I thought tonight would be kind of fun to do a simplified deal. So if you're at home and you got a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen, grab along and let's sketch. There's no pre-sketch tonight. No so pre-sketch. You can draw right along with it. Yeah, it'll be fun. So if you'd like to, I'll try to do a play-by-play -play of what we're doing. 
of what we're going after. Uh, to start off, the first thing I'm going to do is kind of lay down a horizon line just to get an idea of where uh, the action is happening. I like to have cars in motion and in the air just because that's just silly me. Um, I like it that way. Um, but I have a little, uh, an idea of something I want to do. And um, so that's what we're going to do. So to, so again, draw along with me. Love it. And this, um, if you'd like. this particular scene, he tells me, is based on Trog. Which... Yeah, it's inspired. The, the idea, the thought I had, I saw a picture of uh, Trog, the, the race of gentlemen, um, which happens on both East Coast and West Coast. Um, and I always thought it'd be really cool to do uh, to be involved in it's really neat where they, they just go get simplified motorcycles and and hot rods to the essence of I mean there's some really full blown hot rods but a lot of guys will just find something and go full stock you know four banger motor in it and they just they drag race each other down the beaches and mm -hmm. in in uh, California I believe it's on the street in Santa Barbara so it's I thought when you mentioned it it was California to New Jersey but it's not no no, no. so it's just it's not like Cannibal Run or anything yeah. Well, that's where my mindset is because that's what we were talking about last week. Usually, right? Usually. Let me tell you who we've got on while you get started here, unless you want to uh, discuss what you're doing here. No, so uh, I'm going to try a, a different little technique of just trying to get some Maybe hard for shaving. people to see when you're um, so... Well, I haven't drawn anything yet. Yeah, I know, but when you, when you zoom out or make your screen smaller, it completely goes away over here. They can't see it at all. Okay, because I have a light color. Can you see that? That I can. Okay. You are also looking at a tiny, tiny screen on your screen. That's true. Go to the big one there, sister, so you can see what you're talking about. It's true. Before you start making comments. It's true. Let's find out. Oh, look at that. There's a line there. So realistically, the people that are watching, okay. if they're watching a single screen, oh, they don't have a choice. They do have a choice. Well, no, not now. They do. No, they, you're the choice. <laughs> you're the one making the decisions for them. I'll leave it here. Okay, so let me tell you who we've got on tonight. Lizzie Daughtry is joining us. If you are joining us tonight, let us know where you're joining from. We would love to know if there's new areas represented. Um, you can even tell us the weather, tell us a fun fact about your area. Feel free to share. I love to learn. I love to listen and then not retain is what happens. This so, this is true. But you learn. You learn. You learn. You're so going to learn today. I got to learn today. Lizzie is joining us. She says hello, you too. Kevin Johnson, hello from, I'm guessing, Hud West. He didn't write it, but I know where he's from. That's weird. What's wrong, Kevin? Gary Fisher is joining us. The Gary Fisher. Fish on. Fish on. Good to see you, buddy. He says, good evening. Um, Guy Labry is joining us. Hi, all. Hey. Welcome. Howard Pierpont is joining us from Greeley, Colorado. 64 degrees and sunny in Greeley. I spoke with somebody in Minnesota today, and it was 77 degrees. Oh, yeah. Last week, it was like 38. Hmm. So they're having some crazy weather up in Minnesota. So. Uh, Mike Williams joining us from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, 73 degrees where he's at tonight. I want to say here in Newport, Richie, yep, um, it is a balmy. Blistering. 77 right now, actually, at 938. So, yeah, we're very close to uh, those Alabama times. Mike Frucci said, wow, this is the earliest late you've ever been. Evening sketchy people. We were actually on time. Yeah, it was what do you mean? Um, Lizzie is uh, letting us know that she's got her websites up, Handmade Jewelry on Facebook, Elizabeth Handmade Jewelry on Facebook, and then her YouTube channel, Miss Butterfree 34. So go check it out. She's got some pretty cool stuff going on over there. Um, Alex Kuderon is joining us. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. So we're going to try to hit the first car coming off the line here. And, of course, we're going to start with the wheels. And we're just drawing circular shapes. Okay. You good? Good, sorry. Okay. Now, uh, somebody was saying I sound far away. So. so get that up to you. Okay. It needs to be up to you. Like Other this. Oh, okay. You keep that's what the you keep flipping it around. I might be. Okay. Hopefully that's better. Um, Mike Ferrucci is joining us. It's a crisp 72 degrees here in Homosassa, Florida, right up the road from us here. Yeah. Um, Draco said 52 weeks in a year. We have missed a few weeks though, Draco. So that could yes, be why that is true. we don't have as many episodes. 
Um, Kevin Johnson said, itty B coming across quiet. Again, hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, Is that better than we moved what we did? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What did we do last time? Is that what we did last time? Or no, you changed out the mics. Change mics. Time. It's not the mics. Again, you keep I'm playing with it, it instead so of leaving it where I had it when I set it up. Thank you. Um, Barry Belaine joining us. Help again from, uh, hello again from Dayton, Ohio. It's directional. Um, Bob McLaren said Trog Atlantic City. Okay, so that must be where they do it in Atlantic City. Can we hear Itty B better now? Can anyone hear me? Hear me? Hear me? Um, Bob McLaren said Trog in Wildwood, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. So, right. yeah, Atlantic City, Wildwood area, maybe. Um, Dylan Klingo, my son from California, is joining us. And he's the one who said, Ma, why do you sound so far away? Yeah. <laughs> um, hopefully you can hear me. John Devries is joining us. I'm here from, I'm here, John from Minnesota. How are you? What's Great up, John? How are we doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Is the volume better now? I don't know. Um, Robert Frost is joining us. Hello from Indiana. Welcome, Robert. Uh, Michael Williams said, I believe they limit it to pre-1953 flathead engines. Uh, I've seen four of the regular four-cylinder, uh, um, stock four-cylinders, so. Oh, limited too. Yes, maybe that's the largest displacement you can go. Yeah. Um, Kevin Johnson said HUD whiz. Mike Frucci said can hear her fine. Lizzie said can hear fine. Okay, so maybe it's just a couple people. Lizzie said your surprise is running late. I'm so sorry. So I might have to reorder it again. Well, we don't know what it is, Lizzie. So we will be surprised whenever it comes. Nevertheless. And you, you, Certainly do not have to do anything, but we're thankful. Um, last week, we were going to show um, the thing that Lane Kelton sent for Johnny, but we he didn't pop on and we wound up not doing it on the live video. So um, Lane, again, thank you. And, and anyone yes. who has sent us stuff, thank you so much for doing that. We love everything that you send. We have a whole collection of things that yeah, you send. We have things displayed. Super not we necessary have, to send us yeah. stuff, but we sure appreciate it. We're running out of room. <laughs> We're running out of room. No, it's great. We appreciate all of you. Okay, so cool little sketchy design here. I'm telling you that I'm, I'm an art fan because my husband is an artist, but when we go into that store, I just I could stay in there for just hours. Yeah, me too. Looking at the different things, there it's it's the same characters. It's always a Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse. You know, it's all the same characters. Just the difference between how these people paint or do their drawings. It's so neat to see the style, and it really just makes me appreciate the style that you have when you're drawing because. You're drawing the same cars as everybody else as far as your make model type stuff, but the style in which you do it is what is so different. And that's what differs well, from artist art. We tr we, I try to definitely do have a different style. Than well, you do. I don't think you try. I think it's that's just what you've developed into. I've seen you do fine art stuff. Um, the, the paintings that you've done, the acrylic paintings that you've done have been fine art things. I've seen you do little sketches on napkins. I've seen you do the digital art, which I think looks a little different from what you actually hand sketch and do with your, your markers. I've seen you do the markers. I've seen you do just ink and even just your different mediums, even though they look a little different, it's still the same basic style. It's the, it's the same way you blend your colors. It's the same way you do your chrome and your highlights and right. things like that. I mean, that's just, it, it's your view of how you see it. Right. Not everybody sees the highlights the same way you see it. Right. And that's so we are, we are super sketching this thing right now. This is very much in sketch mode. Can you look at what I'm looking at? Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Sure. Okay. So, so people may not be able to see. Can everybody see All what right. he's drawing let me, when let he me, zooms out? Let me try. Adjusting the is that better or worse? Worse. Yeah, that's definitely crisper at this level. It disappears when you make it small though. I know. That's okay. okay. That has a lot to do with your screen too. Okay. 
Can anyone else see what he's drawing? Like and I will try to say in off? this screen, Jeepers Creepers. Again, this is just, we're just pre-sketching. Mm -hmm. um, Juan Alonso Gonzalez his, says, hello, it is me again from Venezuela. Hey, Venezuela. Welcome. Thank you. Um, Matt Bunce is joining us. Welcome. Matt Tavius Buntus. Draco said, if I send something, it don't take up much space. This is true. <laughs> um, Draco is doing the microscopic paintings. Yeah, it doesn't, <laughs> I like to call it, but they're sure cool. And I haven't I haven't been able to catch them live, but I have seen that he has I done saw, a few lives. Yes, he's been doing a few again. more lives again. That's great to see. Yes. I'm excited. And then I think it was the McCoys. Um, he had sent them two of the ping pong balls that mm -hmm. he does. And they're like, well, it's hard to frame that kind of stuff. Yeah. Now, normally you can frame art. So they put them in the eye sockets of a skull figurine that they nice. <laughs> And they fit perfect. He's like, what a great way to display them. <laughs> okay. I think we're going to try to do a little and get some details going here. Kevin Johnson said it's really clear at this level. John Debra said, now I can see it. Juan said much better. Okay, perfect. Glad you can see it. Okay, so this was just the sketch. And why are you doing that in, is it like a blue mm -hmm. that you're doing it in? Like like a blue pencil almost. Yes. And then you go back over it with the black, mm -hmm. which is the appearance of an ink, perhaps. We're actually going to do it with a pencil. Oh, okay. So we're going to go back over with a, like a black pencil. It really does give the appearance of a pencil. It's pretty cool. Again, this this um, sketchable app that he's working in has been great. By the way, we like we this. got to uh, side note for me and you. Yes. Got to get that uh, thing to sketchable so we can be part of their team. Mm -hmm. Julie Anderson is joining us from the Pacific Jules, Northwest. What's up? Made it tonight. She said. We're glad you're well, here. Jules. I believe okay. you guys only have a few more weeks of school left. Um, her and her husband both work for the school system out there. Uh, Draco said, I need about 100 of those skulls like Brian has. Don't we all? We actually have one. We have that orange skull. But I don't know. I don't know where it is. I'm not sure if the eye sockets are cut out like that where we could put ping pong balls right. there. <laughs> I'm not sure. June 17th, Julie said. I'm sure she's counting the days. All right. So if you're drawing along, we're now messing with the rear tire. Oops. What's cool on some of the Disney art, Oops. too, is they'll, they'll actually, they have it posted for sale. I mean, we're talking hundreds of dollars for these things. But it shows the original sketch lines. And then where they actually committed mm -hmm. to the line. But it's just so cool to watch. You almost kind of get a semblance of the process that they went through to get to where A little bit, yeah. So super cool. It's kind of what we're going to try to achieve tonight. James Olchin is joining us. Hey, ADD and Johnny J. Welcome, What's up? sir. Uh, Kevin Johnson said, I love to sketch with Pentel Blue Lead. Yeah, Johnny did a whole, uh, almost a whole sketchbook. Of the blue remember when you were doing this like yeah. off-white colored page and he was sketching with blue pencil it's always fun to, to draw on blue i honestly like when you when you um work on the black paper with white and white yeah paper. i like that too yeah he really i haven't really seen you do much on paper lately uh, most of it's been here Monday nights and then just digital art, you know, work that you're doing for other people. Mm -hmm. But again, and we haven't quite decided yet. We're still trying to make ourselves available to talk to Hank Dutton about it. Um, but he's going to help us get some something put together to get some of your original art stuff that we've been holding on to for years and years. Maybe <laughs> out there. years and years. It's been. I mean. At least since 2012. I think some of the art on the web page is from 2012. Maybe. So stuff yeah. even prior to that. Okay, so if you can see where that one is headed so far, he did that little pre-sketch. You kind of see him sketching kind of what you do before you come to Sketchy Live most times, is you'll do the pre-sketch. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
So that's how he comes up with the concept. And then he brings it into this program and is able to draw over it. So you just watched him do the pre sketch and now he's doing the draw over. Draco said, I really like it when you just sketch with no pre draw, just pure art. Again, the pre draw is still pure art because that's something that he's doing. He's not importing that in from another program. I mean, he's. Yeah, but I, I'm sure for the entertainment value, they're really yeah. getting to see the. A blank page go to. Go to something. Yeah. Right. I get what he's saying. Yeah. Mike Frucci said, awesome. The problem is sometimes as we get into, you know, I can't it's put time. as I can't put as much detail, but I'm, try, I'm going to try to get as much as we can tonight mm -hmm. with this. Naz Malone is joining us from Australia. Hey, guys. Welcome, sir. What's up? How are you? Good to see you on. For sure. So there's our front tire. And again, he's not looking at anything. He is literally, let me show you, his face. He's literally, I mean, he's got a couple drawings next to him on the right of just the idea, but he's not looking at anything. This is all just in his head, if you can believe it. <laughs> is that that impressive? <laughs> it is impressive. I can't, how many times have I said, what does my Jeep dashboard look like? And, like what, and what do I say to you? How do you not know? That's yeah. what you say to me. How do you not know what your own car looks like? I don't. I couldn't. I could not. If you gave me a pencil right now, I couldn't even pretend to draw out the back of my car, <laughs> like the rear end. Couldn't do it. I just. It's not in my brain to memorize those things. Not everybody can do that. That's just now. Now, if you ask me. Where the signing parts are in an insurance contract that I'm sending to someone. Oh, uh, here we that go. That I know because I, I do it all the time. So right. I get the concept of how you understand and know this stuff. It just amazes me that you know it. There's just a lot of detail. A lot of detail. Draco said, no offense intended. No, I absolutely not. I did not think that at all. But it, it would be different if he had, if he were bringing something in. And then just tracing over it. Well, he's he's drawing the pre-draw, so it is still him drawing. I just wanted to make that point known for anybody who might be joining us, because when, when he anybody who's jo who might be joining us, who might be joining us, it's new. Oh, okay. So I was gonna say, new. I think I think everyone is joining us. Everyone is joining us. <laughs> if you're on, everyone is joining us. If you're joining us, <laughs> thanks for joining us. Um, Spud Anderson, Julie's husband, is joining us. Hey, guys. Just got done with the track championship seating meeting. Nice. The championship meet is this week. Very exciting. Yeah. I was a track manager. I didn't have to run for that. I just held a clipboard. Yeah. Clipboard that's pretty much that's what, that's the kind of job they gave no, to people who couldn't run. Yeah. I could not run. I was a um, clipboard, timekeeper, water girl. That was my job. Kevin Johnson said, got to be up at 4 a.m. again. Time to hit the sheet. Uh, I, I, I understand. I'll watch the entire sketchy tomorrow. Miss you guys. Kev, thank you for stopping in. Yeah, thanks for hanging out for a, a sec. Yeah. And now you know what you can look forward to tomorrow when you see the live. So now we're... Play live playback. Yep. So we're wrapping up this hot rod. This is just engine stuff you're filling in. Yeah. Okay. So there's that. Symbolic number five. There's that guy. Anyone who knows us knows why. Not perfect. You know, we don't no. know exactly what what year is this, or or I'm trying to do a specific a specific you know coop, but just we're drawing for fun. And I'm seeing the shadow of a guy in there with his hand out the top, holding onto a gear shift. Yep. So we see a hat, we see a flipped frame. I'm gonna assume it's you. <laughs> glasses on. It might be. It might be. <laughs> that is a signature move for you. Where'd you learn the flip? Can learn a flip brim well, i mean who where did you pick that up from it's from home man it's my comfortable way of wearing my hat california eh? 
I've never met a flipped brim. Please stop talking. <laughs> Because I've never met a flip brim. I never met a, I never met a, two, a a cowboy hat. I wasn't done with the sentence. People in New Jersey didn't wear their hats like that. You guys don't wear sleeves. <laughs> Back in the day, people did not wear their hats like that. That's why I'm wondering, is it a California thing? I, I, I'm going to bet you they did, and you just never paid attention to it. Mm, no. Somebody posted a video from Seaside Heights, New Jersey back in 1990, which is when I was growing up in there. It was all cut off sleeves and... And no one in any of those pictures wearing a hat, wore their hat that way. Well, there you go. So. Because you guys weren't cool enough. You weren't cool enough. Little details he's putting in on this one. And this one's probably done. Um, Yeah. Ish, done ish. Putting, putting sand in for sand. whatever reason. What is sand? Dirt, whatever it is. It's off, that's off the flames. Yeah. All right. Okay. So there's that. Cool little hot rod. All right. I'm pulling for the number five. He still has a little bit of a, a hike to be able to beat that guy in the back. Um, speaking of races, I just watched... The end of the Kentucky Derby race. Oh, you watched that? At just the end. Somebody posted it. And did, they, they had... Did um, a horse win? Yeah. They had um, little arrows over who the winner was going to be and who the runner-up was. And the winner was like nine horses back. And in the final stretch, it just showed him just kicking butt, mm -hmm. pull out the win. Yeah. Like crazy. Horse racing. Total underdog. I'm sure the people that were in second and third the whole time were like, we're totally going to win. See this guy? You ever seen that movie? Or, uh, I don't know. I, mean, yeah, but... <laughs> I don't think I did. I got excited when I heard biscuits, but then I realized it wasn't. And sea biscuits. You're like, oh, is it the beach? I do like biscuits. Um, Jim Pollins joining us. Hello, everyone. From Hobo, Sunny Hobo's Hot Rod Garage nice. in Horsehead, New York. Alex Kuderam is uh, saying rest well to Kevin Johnson. Right. <laughs> uh, Mike Fruji said the odds were 80 to 1. 80 to 1 shot. Wow. That was that was insane. I don't really follow the Kentucky Derby, but the last couple of years, I, for some reason, have caught the updates. There must be somebody on my Facebook page who's into it and who's sharing it because that's the only way I'm seeing it. I didn't seek it out, but, um, yeah, but it's interesting. I, and what, what's weird about that is that I love horses. And the one time, um, Johnny took me to the track here in Tampa and we didn't gamble or anything, but I just wanted to see how it all worked. And they let you go down and visit the horse area where they're waiting and like the owners are brushing them or whatever they do to prep them. Um, but they kind of walk them around this little corral and then you as the, the better can go down there and look at them and be like, okay, do the legs look good. You know, like, the better, the better. Um, and I totally picked the winning horse. Had I made a bet, I saw strength and integrity in this horse. Yes. I saw it looked in your eye and was like, yeah, in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so goofy. I bonded with him and I was like, you're going to do this. Yeah. You, you, bond, you pretty much bond with most animals. I do. And, uh, and sure as anything, man, we sat down, he won the race. And I was like, that is the horse that I picked. Yeah. So how who I knew we could have been millionaires right now. Yeah. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Now I just been... gotta depend on my Doge coin. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> we could have been millionaires. Yeah. Anywho, Oop. um, so maybe I will get into horse racing. Oh wow. Well. Sounds fun. So how'd your weekend go there, Itty B? Oh, weekend was great. We we love, love, love the Disney Springs area. Um, we stay at a place right near where we're going to be. That way we can just walk to everything. Um, I can't even tell you how many steps we did. Uh, I want to say 50,000. I want to say we did at least 
It was at least 50,000 steps. Pretty, I, I would bet we got pretty. We did like probably 25 miles or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I was going to say. It was crazy. A lot of walking, but a lot of sitting. Like how, how much walking did we do? Because we, we sat at a couple places for a little bit. But um, we were moving. And we had a great time. What we do is just. Yeah, I wish they'd count sitting steps, right? <laughs> we weren't counting sitting steps. But we just stop at all these different little places. We have one little beverage or a water or something to eat. And then we move on to the next place. And it's just so fun to people watch and see people from other countries that are visiting here, hear the different languages, see the little kids excited about all the stuff going on around them. It's just so fun. We really enjoyed it there. And it was it was a sweltering weekend. They called for rain and it was a little humid, but it never rained, but just very, very hot. Like yeah. 92 degrees. We had anticipated possibly a little bit of rain, but it didn't rain at all, which was good. And we considered possibly going to a park, one of the parks, taking in one of the parks. I don't think I could have done it. Just waiting in line for stuff in that heat, it was pretty hot. I, I would have needed a beverage of some sort. But um, we had a great time. Um, Johnny took me to Benihana for my birthday. So we got to do the Japanese steakhouse experience, which was fun. Like the original, I didn't realize that that was the original. 64, I think I looked it up, right? It, yeah, back in 1964. I don't know if it's the, uh, you know, the, that the only ever. Isn't the original no, 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 no. I'm just saying in general. Yeah. 1964 is when the company started. So it's been it's been Hana and Hana inging for a long time. And that Benny Hana actually happened to be in the hotel we were staying at, so it was super convenient. Um, and then Mother's Day uh, Sunday morning, we were leaving. We checked out, and we have all of our luggage and stuff. We're heading out, and I'm thinking to myself, any place we stop for breakfast is going to be completely packed. It's Mother's Day. So we wound up getting breakfast at the hotel, which wound up being nice. Yeah, it was Mickey bad. Mouse pancake, or no, waffle. Mickey Mouse waffle they made for me, which was cool. Um, just a fun weekend. Lots of fresh air, lots of sun. Um, and we did drive um, almost two hours after the traffic uh, up to Disney Springs in, in my Jeep, in Grace, with the top down. So we got a little bit of sun. I, I got quite a bit of sun, actually. Yeah. But it was, it was great. Just a lot of fresh air, being outdoors, a lot of exercise, and... Great stories. People watch it. It, just, it was just nice. It was a great, relaxing birthday slash Mother's Day weekend. I'm excited. Thank you again. Uh, Michael Williams said, a friend of mine used to put $10 on the long shots of the Triple Crown. He would have been so happy. Ah, does $10 make you a lot? I guess it would. Mike Ferrucci said, have you ever been to that drive-in theater restaurant in Disney Studios? The tables are replica of cars, and they show old sci-fi movies. We yes, we go. have, yeah. Johnny did take me there once. It was pretty cool. I think we got burgers. They sold, they uh, served yeah. burgers. Um, Gavin said, "What Gavin Little's joining us, by the way. What a fun and cool design idea. Yeah, I think Hopefully Johnny's you're enjoying it. This one. Let me zoom in on the main screen. And we're just we're just sketching. So you yeah. can see my lines are not super super detailed. But we got something going on here. My all-time favorite designs you have ever done. I have two. Mm -hmm. Are the watercolors? You did two mm -hmm. in a set, the watercolors, which I think are on the website mm -hmm. for sale. They are. And then Standard you did prints. two garage scene. I mean, talk about detail without detail. Yeah, that's kind of the the idea the yeah. garage scene drawings that he did oh my gosh and again but, um, this is this is something you can do you know just grab a pencil grab some paper you know this is the fun thing of uh, this particular program is it does give me allow me to have this pencil-y look so like right now i'm going to turn off Turn your lights off. Is that what you're doing? No. I'm going to turn this layer off. Mm, layer off. So I can draw this back wheel without 
too much distraction and the molar race. We talked about doing a collaboration. I think you were going to draw and I was going to color it in, remember? Yeah. We haven't done that. No. Hmm. Um, exciting news this week as well. And I don't see Jeff Bell on here. I know he would appreciate this, but I did get another tap. For <laughs> oh. He gets so bad when I say tap. I hate that. <laughs> so bad. I and know. you know it too. I know. That's why I said. Oh, so annoying. So my daughter and I got matching tattoos. Oh, you got a tattoo? My birthday. That's cool. That she paid for for us. We went to her guy in Tampa. He did a great job. Was um, it, shout out to. Uh, his name is Hojo. Oh. And what's funny, because I said to Cassidy, I said, is oh. his name Howard? And she said, yes. And I was like, I used to work for Howard Johnson's restaurant and hotel and we used to call them hojos so when everyone we, called them hojos right so when we got to the place i asked him if his last name was johnson and it is that's why he got my hojo could have been because my friend carrie hall used to call howard jones hojo remember everyone called howard jones hojo well it's not howard Johnson. your your, your friend didn't come up with some new name that's the first time I heard somebody. I used to call him Howard Jones. Well, that, that has a lot to do with the fact that you didn't listen to any other music than Bruce Springsteen. Yes, I did. There was a band other than Wham? I liked Wham. So now you're doing the erasing. So some people would say, why... Why not draw that first and then draw the engine in front of it so you don't have to erase anything? So I know where it's at. Some would say, you mean you? Yeah. <laughs> some some would be me. Because <laughs> I, I feel like when I when I've watched other people draw, uh -huh. they they would layer it. They would do it on top of each other. You are a fan of the eraser, but it works for you. You mean drawing something and then getting rid of what I don't want? Yes. Yeah rather than trying to draw it to meet what you need. Like right now, if I would have tried to draw that in there, mm -hmm. I'd have been trying to draw and then make sure I didn't get it over here. I'm just able to loosely do what I want to do. Right. And I have to worry about it. See, and that's part of your technique as well that differs from other people. It's like there was this overlapping part where the bed was, uh, I didn't line it up as perfect, but now I right. just erase it and boom, it's, for where I need it. Boom, gone. So it's all about the layers, really. Yeah, why not? Why not use the why not use that part of the tool? And again, if I was if I was sketching in a regular drawing, I'd have to be very careful of that. But that's the beauty of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. How much time we got? Um, we're at 38 minutes right now. Good. Okay. So not too bad actually. All right, so we are working on car number two here. Let's see. Uh, this guy looks like his his hat might be on backwards. I don't see a front flip on this one. I do see some goggles. Robert Spear is joining us. Hi, guys. I'm late, but here. Robert, you probably had a busy week with it being May 4th and everything. Right. <laughs> do anything special on the podcast for may 4th i'm sure they didn't no it's, of course they did oh no, i don't know i don't know how often they do them every week once a week so maybe they didn't do it on may 4th that'd be silly they were probably out they're a star wars podcast and they wouldn't do a podcast on may 4th I guess come on babe um, he said, I was on three podcasts this oh, week. Oh, wow. Wow. All yours, or were you a guest on someone else's as well? He might have been a guest, too. Might have been a guest. So I see what appears to be, and I'm going to guess wrong, and you're going to get mad at me. It almost looks like a um, one of those caps that you used to wear. Remember the ones that were... Mm -hmm. What is it called? 
I don't know. Is it a flip flip brim? No. Blimp flipper? No. Flipper backer? It's not a flip brim. Is it a back flipper? Flipper back? No. Flip flap back flipper? It's the kind of hat that had the front brim, but you would wear yours backwards and it would be a small, little tiny brim. It was a, I, I like to call it a car hat. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. It's like between a beanie and a, and a baseball cap. Mm. It's got the small brim, half brim of a baseball cap, but the fittedness of a beanie. Mm. What do you call those hats? Mm. Some would call it like a paperboy hat. Oh, it's a beret, Bob McLaren said. Very beret-like, yes. Robert Spears said one was mine and two were about Galaxy's Edge and Star Tours in the parks. Oh, okay. Bob McLaren said welder's hat, possibly. In any case, it's not a flipped brim hat. No. Like the, like the guy from California. Robert Spear calls it a Jeff cap. I've heard, what well, did you say? Paperboy? Mm hmm. Is that what it's called? Paperboy? Hmm. If we only had a, a small computer that could tell us something. Let me see. What is a paperboy hat? Oh, like? I love the way you Google. It's, not. it's called a newsboy. The newsboy, there it is. Newsboy cap, also called the newsy, oh, or paperboy hat, mm -hmm. is a type of flat cap that has notable differences from the driving cap or ivy cap. Mm -hmm. How many different types of hats? There was a time in your life when that's all you wore. Yeah. Um, if anyone can believe it, we have an entire closet full of those hats, mm -hmm. different colors, different uh, materials. You had tweed, you had mm -hmm. Jersey. We had them all. And I liked you. And I even had a couple hats and I don't know where mine went. I think that's where it happened. Once you started trying to wear them as well, I was like, I don't want, I'm not copying you. you <laughs> I was copying you. You bought them for me. Yeah, I was trying to make you. I actually when, you, when you made it absolutely when you made it absolutely clear you were not going to do that kind of stuff, I was done with that. So I was not going to do what stuff. Yeah. Be a paper boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. When you said you were no longer going to do newspaper <laughs> routes, I was. That's it. That's it. I got enough stuff to do. Not doing the route. Take the hat. Uh, Robert Spears said, "Don't wear them in the jeep with the top down." I learned my lesson because I had on my G pad that you, Johnny bought me. You had to tighten it down, man. I did. It was it was glued to my head on the way home. Mm, I'm enough. telling you guys, since we have gotten these jeeps, it has been so windy every day. That's true. Even just walking outside, you can feel a difference in the wind. Ever since we got the jeep, so I have not had a day where it's not been windy. But I wore the hat on the way home and it did flip off my hat. I had my ponytail through it and everything, and it was secure to my head and it flipped off my head. Thankfully, I caught it <laughs> or I would have been a goner. It was pretty funny, though. It was. Um, Howard Pierpont said, print on some and sell authentic JJ caps. We should. They're pretty destroyed, though. What do you, you mean? Were, you were the oh, do like a drawing on the old ones? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be a cool idea because I have a bunch. You do. <laughs> hmm. Maybe do like a little sketch under the brim and then it's a, I mean, if you don't mind my sweat and shit, they're dirty and nasty. They are. Unless I just do them in the wash real quick and then just wash them. I don't know if they would hold up. I have, I have the form for this, yeah, but I don't have a form for those. You have a form for your hat, but not a hat? I have, he's talking about the other hats, the paperboy hats you don't wear anymore. Oh. Yeah. No. no. We're destroying those. But he does have a million of regular hats as well. Um, I did change it up today. Did not wear the beanie. I have on my sketchy speed equipment hat. I see that's weird. Right? You all right, feeling good? Well, because I was going with a gray top tonight and I was like, oh, we might as well match with the gray. <laughs> right. Plus my head is a little sunburned. Does anybody like this? I think they do. Let me see. Likes and loves, guys. If you're digging where this one's going, a little sketchy design here. Are you planning on coloring <laughs> it in, or are you going to leave it? No, we're going to put a little color in. Oh, it. all right. 
Just a real. So when you're done with the final, you're going to be taking all the blue away. Though. No. Oh, you're leaving the blue. Yeah. Oh, with the color. Okay. So we'll see how this one turns out. Robert Spear said yes. So he's digging it. He said, I had one fly off on I-95. I saw it and got, th and got it three days later. Ah, that's funny. We were on our way home. So no. there would have been, I know, I did for a little, sorry. <laughs> we were on our way home. So no. we would have done a turnaround. Um, Howard Pierpont said, come to Colorado last night. Uh, Messinet Station near Cheyenne Mountain State Park, clocking in at 77 miles an hour within the last hour. Whoop. Wow. Oh, Lizzie said cute little sketch. She's digging it. So this now that you're working on is the guy holding the flag. Oh, it's a girl? Oh, is it? Okay. Oh, I see the boob. Okay. I don't know if those are going to stay, but... <laughs> They have to be pointy. That was the era. Right. Like full on missile. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they need to be that pointy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Would this have taken place in a ravine? It's on the beach, Beth. Don't you see the oh, waves? The beach. No, I didn't what know. sketchy are you watching? I didn't know that was a wave. And she's jumping. She is jumping. Okay. Um, Robert Spears said, can you drop her some walking next to the cars, beating them in the race with a walker? <laughs> <laughs> we have plenty of reference for that here in Florida. <laughs> in fact, one day we were going over the bridge into Clearwater, and there was a guy on a, was he on a bike? He was walking, Ben. Oh, he was walking. That's even worse. He was walking and we had music playing on our radio and it's it looked like he was walking to the beat. So we were laughing about it and he passed us. By the time we were about a mile and a half down, this guy had beaten us to the circle. Which I thought was crazy. On foot. We probably could have parked to the other end of the bridge and walked over faster than we got there. We would have been exhausted and sweaty. But, yeah, sometimes walking is the more efficient answer, especially if you're stuck in traffic like we were. Paul Marziani is joining us. Hello. Sorry I am late. No, you're right on time. Still sketching away here, Paul. Um, Johnny is doing a take on the Trog, the Race of Gentlemen. This is his little... Sketch a Rooney here. We had gone to Disney Springs over the weekend and saw some different types of art um, at the Disney studio. And Johnny just loves the sketchy look of some of what they do. And he wanted to do that here tonight. Incorporated in his sketchy. Is she wearing a skirt? No, it's like a um, jumps um a jumpsuit. Uh, Pretty good form. We've got the flag. I feel like she needs to move out of the way or she's going to get ran over. <laughs> These two. Paul Marziani said it's great. Uh, Bob said the Trog flag girl is from New Jersey. Of course she is. Of course she is. Robert Spears said very focused tonight. Yeah, he gets like this, where he's just in the zone, and we don't hear from him much. I'm trying. I'm trying to talk. Now, does she also have glasses on? She has goggles on. Goggles. You think of all that sand coming at you? That's true. Look at you thinking about her safety. Good for you. Such a good guy. Shut up. <laughs> Mike Fruji said it looks awesome. The checkered flag. Back in the day, my brother, I think, had a checkered flag from one of the races he went to, one of the NASCAR races that he went to. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know how he would have gotten it. Probably bought it. No, I think it was like the original one from the race. I don't know how he would have gotten it. Don't mm. they usually give it to the driver? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He probably bought it. Or maybe he just thought. <laughs> that's possible. My brother was a little gullible as well. Kind of ran in his family. Yeah, I was going to say, that doesn't sound like your family at all. Yeah. My sister's a bit gullible. You know what it is for just trusting people? Just see the good in everyone. It doesn't always work in our favor. Right. <laughs> Robert Spears said, what is that box in front of you, Johnny? Jalopy the board game? What box? I don't know what you're looking at. Yeah, which one are you? What, uh... I don't think this this is just a this is a metal sign actually. Um is that what they're talking about? maybe it was paper. Maybe it's the paper to the right of them. He said, What's that box in front of you? This box? This box? I don't know. The He's... orange one. Is that your computer? Oh, this? This is a computer, yes. God, I was watching you and huh? I spilled. Oh, wouldn't be the first time we spilled wine here. Russ Rainey was joining us. Welcome. Sir. Russ, what is up? From New York as well. All right. Well, let's go back to our scene here. Our drawing. What do we think? Let me go ahead and do. Can't see it that small. There you go. Okay. Very cool. Hmm. It's great to see the concept come to life. I love it. Oh, Robert Spears said I was confused. Yeah, now I have a computer in front of me. He has a computer in front of him. Two computers. Really four if you count our phones. Right. Mike Fruci said that's alcohol abuse. Spill the wine. Dig that girl. Okay. It doesn't spill wine often. You don't spill it too often. Not often. Drinks most of it. We had our fair share of wine, or at least I did, Ooh. this weekend. Yes, we did. I'm surprised I'm even drinking it today, <laughs> to be honest. It's good though. Definitely is good. All right. Everybody's on the same page. What's next? There we go. Ooh, I'm starting to do a little bit of color. By the way, um, thank you to everybody who placed an order for the Smokey and Bandit, Smokey and the Bandit uh, designer that I did last week, um, the Snowman. That one came out super cool. Yeah, that was a fun one. And again, um, we did the Smokey and the Bandit car in season three. Trans Am, yep. I want to say it was three. Um, we did the Trans Am, so... Um, it, it really is a twofer. It's a two set uh -huh. for 20 bucks a piece. But um, a couple of people had already bought the originals, Movie the Bandits. So we had to, we had a couple that just were like, eh, we'll just take the one. But both of them are available. You've done so many cool movie cars all on the website. If you check back through our sketchy live designs over the last four full seasons and half of this season, almost half already. Gosh, another month and we'll be halfway through the year. I can't even believe it. Yeah, it's time is flying. So um, go check those out for sure. And again, thank you to anyone who's ordered. We had a couple good, crazy weeks these last couple weeks with stuff you've done. You did Crazy Flake. You did the uh, McCoy Swamp Buggy a couple weeks ago. Yes, we did. So just super cool stuff going on. We, we really want to do some movie cars again, but we don't want to do too many of them. Johnny's just got so much stuff in his head that I think needs to get out. Cool stuff like this, just little ideas. Some stuff, 
that's just like off the wall designs. It's so crazy how your mind works with stuff and things you see and things you think of. Yeah, sometimes it's annoying because then it's all it's all there, and then sometimes it's not all there. Sometimes you need a little inspiration, which is fine. One of my ideas, um, because he had asked me earlier, what should I draw tonight? And I had said, maybe do one of the cars from the movie Cars. And I think that's what maybe sparked the the Disney. Yeah, but at the same time, uh, uh, drawing cars, it's it's already a cartoon. I know. So maybe you draw it as if it were a regular car. That's what it is. It's not, though. It's a cartoon. It is a car. It's a person car. They made it into a 3D thing that's supposed to be like a real car. It doesn't. It's like going backwards. I think they're cool. Yeah, they're cool. Someone already did it. Yeah. It wouldn't wouldn't make sense for me to do it. It would make sense. I don't think it would. I think it would. But he's not going to do it. So we're going to have to find some other cool stuff. Well, if you can show me where people think it's a good idea. People have given you tons of good ideas. I'm just saying right now, if you could tell me where people are saying, oh, that's a great idea. Because I think if you did it, it would look different than the way they are. Because you would do it in your own style. I think it would be fun. Johnny Jalopy the board game. What would, what would that board game even look like? Cards for free wine spills. <laughs> Cards for... Is Johnny upset with Amy for what she just said? Yes, the answer is yes. Always yes. It's always yes. She's doing it right now. Go back five spaces. You have so much to talk about and you're not... Go back to start. Oh, I'm totally saying this. That's a really good person. You've always said that you're not very good at doing people, but the last couple of people you've done, faces, bodies, have been great. And you're not even looking at anything to do this. Hmm. I think it looks good. Is the kid learning? Is that what's happening? Maybe. And I think maybe you should try doing some more people-like things. Draco said it could be like a bar crawl game. Could be. Yeah. <laughs> could be. Spill wine, go back three spaces. It could be fun. What is this? What is that? It's a shadow. I'm not allowed to ask questions tonight, guys. That's not true. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm laughing. What is that? I have fun with it. I'm he a just, groundhog. He just gets annoyed. He just gets annoyed. Um, Russ Randall said, I'll take itty B movie rolls for $100. Exactly. <laughs> and you would lose. <laughs> Oh my god. There was a time I grew up watching my dad watch Jeopardy. I would sit with him while Jeopardy was on. We all know this story. I'm starting to think he wasn't that good at Jeopardy. He was good. He still is good. Clearly he didn't learn anything. I know. I don't know any of the answers. (laughs) But yet when I play with my kids, I'm a genius. Um, What does that say? My kids are not going to have a good education. Maybe? I don't know. I was not good. You may have already just offended Dylan because he's on, right? I don't know if he's still on. Oh, okay. No, Dylan is Dylan is a genius. Ah, I don't know about genius. He's he's very smart, and for being the age that he is, he does know a lot of um, older trivia. Hmm. I don't know why. I don't know Hmm. why he would. But Draco said it's favorite movies and their stars. Uh, John Devery said American Graffiti Cars would be cool. Um, we've done a couple. Of hey, those. John, <laughs> head on over to the website. Yep, they are on the website. We've got some. I want to say season three or four. We've got uh, we've got the Deuce Coop. The Coop. We've got the police scene. Mm-hmm. We have. Was the only. Oh, did you do the red car too? 
we have uh, we have the fifty five. Right. So that's mm -hmm. three American graffiti posts. Mm -hmm. Already available. Already available. Are there more that could be done? Sure. sure. Bob McLaren said 500 on any insulting foreign languages. Hey, it's been a while <laughs> <laughs> since I've done that, actually. Alex, I'll take a thousand of EDB not knowing where countries are. The answer is Guam. It's in the Pacific. It's in the South Pacific. Oh my God. Are you sure? I want to say yes. I want to say it's in it's the South Pacific. Guam. Pacific. Yes. It's further out than Hawaii is. Hawaii's in the South Pacific. Oh my God. Where do you think it is? Let's see. No, because you're, no, no, no. you're disagreeing. No, no, no. Do you think I'm wrong? Let's find out. Let's go to the books. What body of water is Guam located in? Oh, it's in the North Pacific. Oh! <laughs> How is it North Pacific? That ain't North. That ain't... <laughs> Where is it in conjunction with the United States? map of the world <laughs> google knows i'm mad let me see so funny how is it north pacific north pacific if anybody would like to get itty be a map for her birthday that would be freaking cool I can't make this big. not that she would study it but it'd be funny nonetheless where is guam on here i don't even see it there's the Pacific Ocean. There's the South. There's Guam. How is, oh. that, how is that North Pacific? Oh. Hawaii's in the South Pacific. Mm -hmm. Look at Guam is here. Mm -hmm. It's like in conjunction with South America. You understand? The, the world is round. I know that. You know that, right, Plant Lander? On a latitudinal. Whoa, line. you can even say the word on latitudinal. Line. Mm -hmm. It is. It is in. It is south. How the hell is that North Pacific? I beg to differ. World map. I think you're wrong. I knew it was to the left of Hawaii. It's not North Pacific. So funny. It's South Pacific. I refuse to believe. I do. Russ Randall said, Johnny forgot to add another layer. You get a flat tire. Yes, that could be one of the that, That's a classic move, yes. Bob said Guam moved in 2019. Seriously, though, if you look at a map, how is that north? How is that north of Guam moved? Of anything. Mike said, Itty, you need to download Google Earth. I have it. I have it, and I just looked it up, and it's not correct. <laughs> That's frustrating, because I'm looking it, at it, really and I is. know where it is. You think it's frustrating to you. Whew. We never did hear back from most people from Guam. They tried to... Imagine, imagine being the person that you know is worried about where you're... I was charging them overseas shipping, and they're like, we're not overseas. We're, we're in, in your the United States. And I'm like, no, you're not. You are. You're over more seas than Hawaii is overseas. You're over more seas. You're further away from us than, like, What I love London. is you, you were arguing with them. I wasn't arguing with them. Um, Russ Randall said, is it above the equator? Yes, it is above the equator. But so Hawaii, then, is in the North Pacific? What body of water is Hawaii oh, located man. in? This is going to get worse. It's in the Central Pacific. So how is that central, but Guam is north? Honestly, for the latitudinal, I've got to look at. <laughs> what is Hawaii's latitudinal line? Oh, my goodness. Um, it is 19.74. What is Guam's latitude and all the oh degree? 
13.44. Oh, maybe it is a little south of Hawaii, but that still doesn't qualify it for the South Pacific. Oh, no, it's south of Hawaii. Yes. So how is that North Pacific? If Hawaii is Central Pacific and Guam is below that, how? That's my question. Because I think it's wrong. Now, unless the borders of the oceans change at some point that they're not telling me about, that could be it. Yes, yeah, so it is above the equator. It's frustrating because, you know, I'm trying to just logically put it together and then I'm being told I'm wrong. Because That's you're true. wrong. What I'm not wrong about is how much merch we have on Segway. Guys, did you see the new Johnny Jalopy shirt that we have available? It's Johnny Jalopy Hot Rod Art. It's that cool front design sketch that Johnny did on the Sketchy Live a couple weeks ago. Well, you all uh, asked for it. I don't know how many weeks ago it was now. Um, it, right when we got our Jeeps. So it was April, so it was this one. You probably can't see it. Anywho, it was from um, March 21st of 2022. Season five, episode nine. So only seven episodes ago. Mm -hmm. So not that long ago, um, Johnny did a front view design of this cool hot rod. And people were like, that would be so cool on a shirt. And we did it. It's on a shirt and it's full color. So go check out the website. Um, we do have it up there and available. 25 bucks for the shirts, $25 for all the shirts. And Hank just told us um, when he updated the website for us, we have 25 shirts on there now. Oh, wow. That's a lot of shirts. That's a lot of merch, I think. That We've got the lot. two hats available, the trucker hats. We've got the beanies available, the Johnny Jalopy beanies. We have a beanie. We have, we have two beanies. One is the fold with the cuff. The other one is just a flat um, skull cap. So either one of those are available. Just They're both on the website? No, just beanies is on the website. But if you want to have just the skull cap, the more fitted As one, as I said, there's a let us know. beanie. Um, stickers. We still have the Johnny Sacks. No, we don't. We don't. We're out. We're out of Johnny Sacks. We took them off the thing. We did? We're supposed to. No, they're still on there. Oh, okay. Um, Guys, we have some stuff. We have some stuff. Julie said, ask Siri for driving directions to Guam. She'll probably tell me I cannot drive there. Draco said, Mondays are always so educational. And then he said, recalculating. <laughs> it's true. All right, I'm going to zoom in on what Johnny's doing here so you can take a look. Looks like a little bit of patina on that number five. With the blue that he had in there from before, it was cool. I love the car scenes. I love when you draw cars, but I love the car scenes. What whatever is telling the story, and I think that's why the pastels are not the pastels. The watercolors you did, uh -huh. I feel like it. It was like a scene, even though it was the one car. It's just you knew what the guy was doing. It's kind of what I'm trying to do with this. Is where yeah. it's almost watercolorish. It does look cool. And even though it was super sketchy in the beginning, you've tightened up the lines quite a bit on here. Just out of color is all I did. Yeah, but the way you did it and the way the lines look, it, it just looks a little tighter. And the highlights that are going in. Looks super cool. Shaggy LeBlanc is joining us. He says, I am here. I'm late. I know, but at least I made it. Looks pretty sweet. Shaggy, since you are just joining us, I will let you know this is a scene from TROG Trog, The Race of Gentlemen. Uh, this is a little doodle that Johnny's doing tonight. Looking 
cool. I like that you can almost kind of see the pipes in the flame. Well, maybe you're calling over it now. I think I still see them. Yeah, a little bit. Those look cool. With the weather getting warmer, I would imagine uh, that a lot of you were heading out to local car shows in your area. I don't know if you heard, but last week Johnny was announcing that we got Kona up and running. He still has to take her for a couple spins and make sure everything's cleared out. But we are probably going to get going to, um, they just had OCC night this past Friday and we weren't here. Yep, we missed it. We missed it, but I'm sure there will be some other Volkswagen stuff going on. We need to get her out. Uh, Ray Haas is joining us. What's up? Welcome, sir. Looks real good. I like I like the racing the best. Yeah, he's a racer, isn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not an e-racer, but a racer. Racer. Yeah, they've got a cool little scene going here, don't they? Yeah, it is. I just picture when you say the race of gentlemen. Mm -hmm. In my head. Like they're wearing like the suits with the vests and the little. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you say gentlemen? Is that what it? Yeah, they're all dressed in, in the period correct really? uh, um, stuff here. Yeah. Oh, funny. Mike Perucci said, still working on the gasser. Got the tow board just about welded in. Next up is the floors. Nice. Very cool, Mike. Yeah, John was talking about maybe doing some welding. I think you were going to. Try and do some stuff. I would love it if he if he wants to practice. Although metal is kind of hard to come, it's not as easy to get. It's kind of expensive it right now expensive to right just now. be practicing and it. going around, yeah. But um, I would love some art stuff. I, I'm so into like metals and woods and stuff for our decor mm -hmm. and like yard stuff. So if he if he wants to try something, I am game. Um, Howard Pierpont said, need more cards for passing out when I wear the merch. Howard, we love you. You are a walking billboard. We appreciate you. Lizzie said, we missed two car shows this weekend. Um, they were where Ronnie Setzer's car, oh, the, Ronnie Setzer's shows. Randy and Stephen were both under the weather, but they are both feeling better. Good, Good to hear. Yeah, sometimes you just, you just can't go. But there, I'm sure, will be quite a few coming up. Uh, Mike Pritchard said a sheet of 18 gauge 4 by 10 is 160 bucks. Yeah, That's it's nuts. Expensive right now. Nuts. I would imagine even uh, like wrecking yards and stuff are probably getting some serious money for that stuff. Like for scrap. Stuff. Yeah. Yep, mm -hmm. scrap. Well, I'm sure we have some metal out in the garage we could probably manipulate. But then you need a cutter and a twister and a flattener and all the stuff. No? What are you talking about? There's a ton of metal pieces of stuff out there. What? With this, all this other stuff you're talking about? Well, twister and a cutter and a... Yeah, what if it's like a bed frame? You're going to need to... You can't weld that. Why would I be welding a bed Because frame? it's metal. I'm just thinking of the metal pieces that we have out there. Yeah, super expensive for a hobby right now. I went to welding gas go up too. So mm -hmm. gas yes, up. it did. Huh. Ray said, go to a body shop and see if they're throwing out any old car hoods. Would they do that? Yep. They probably realize they're probably scrapping too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't take a picture yet because I wanted to wash my car first. Um, but Johnny was able to remove the Willie stickers from my Jeep. And we have Grace's name on the car now on both sides. I'm going to have to take pictures because I meant yep, to do it. When I got that and uh, installed it myself. Yes. He did a great job. He had bought the heat gun for um, his car because he removed the Jeep logo from the back, the, what do you call them? Badge, mm -hmm. the badge, the Jeep badge off the back and put on um, Gladiator. 
which looks super cool in the back of his Jeep, but already had the heat gun, so we're doing, um, we was able to do mine pretty easy. I didn't use a heat gun at all. Oh, you didn't? Nope. Oh, how'd you get it off? Peeled it off. Really? With my fingers. Oh. Well, there you go. Hmm. And for the first time today, I took my Jeep to a car wash. I've only had it a month, and it was brand new, clean. They cleaned it at the dealership when I picked it up. And then I had brought it in. What, what was the first time I brought it in? Because they cleaned it again. What did they do? Um, I dropped it off, and then they cleaned it. What the heck did they do? I think I got the wheel locks. Yeah, you went in for your wheel locks. Oh, and they did the paint chip. Mm -hmm. There was a little paint chip on it, and they painted that over for me. They had to take the fender off and, I guess, repaint it or whatever. Um, so they washed the whole thing for me. So I really didn't have to do it in the last couple of weeks. Uh, but then we did this trip to Disney Springs in my car, and when she came back, she was a dirty girl. So I took her today and wasn't able to drive it through an actual car wash which you know, okay. Johnny said, because you said it wouldn't be best. I said that. Yes. Hmm. And other. People and you said, listened to me. I did listen. To oh, you. okay. There we go. But other people told you too. Yeah, Ray told me probably not a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't like you listened to me. So I did listen to you. You were the first one who told me not a good <laughs> idea. So I wound up um, bringing it and hand washing it myself, which I was pretty excited about. I did a good job. It only cost me like seven bucks to do it. And I feel like I got it done to the degree of my liking rather than somebody else doing it. Hmm. So, yeah. Howard Pierpont said, don't try a bed frame. We won't. We won't. Mike Fergie said, I go to Rural King for my welding gas. Uh, for the 80 cubic foot tank exchange, it was less than 60 bucks. It's good to know. Draco said, I like dirty girls. Okay. See what happens when we let them stay up late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, geez. Super cool. Is that a nipple? No. It looks like it. That looks great. What a fun little depiction. I love the colors in the background. Looks like it's sunset. Super cool. Guys, what are you thinking? This one looks great. So if you had to pick a coast, which one would this be for this picture? Um, probably the East Coast. East Coast. Ah, love it. Lizzie said she loves it. Likes and loves, guys, if you're digging it. And again, this one's going to be available on the website in the next couple days when we get it up there. Um, $20 for this one. Cool little scene. I have never in my life heard of Trog, so I've learned something new today. Hmm. I, I had to write it out and then look define, at it nine more times. Define what Trog meant. <laughs> so I knew. So when I'm looking back, I can be like, oh, that's what it was. Russ Randall said, strong work tonight. Yeah, it's just a fun little doodle, right? This is what he does. Makes it look easy, in my opinion. I couldn't do it. Oops. I'll give her a racing stripe. On her shirt? Mm hmm Little details. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so cute. Love it. Bob McLaren said the guy who started Trog here in Wildwood and got so popular he did one um on california i think that one's in october okay draco said i do believe i see nipple 
<laughs> Wishful thinking. Possibly. <laughs> All right. Lizzie said, Johnny, have you ever thought about drawing a speed buggy, the old cartoon show back in the day? Speed buggy. Yeah, we could visit some old speed buggy. Lizzie, to answer your question, he's probably thought of drawing all of these. It just he when when it's go time, he's like, What what was what what was what I am I doing? What, what, am I what was I gonna do? Mike Furch said, Draco, it's just strategically placed grain of sand. Oh. <laughs> Funny. Loving the colors in that one, too. They both look kind of patinaed. That's that blue stuff from the yeah, background. I know. That's cool. So cool. So right now he's got a pretty faint um, background color. So it's just kind of a subtle sunset going on in the background. Yeah, I think this with the red in there, that's gonna really help it to stand out a bit. Happy Mother's Day to any of you ladies watching with kids. That was yesterday. We all celebrated. I think that's what we'll call it. There you go. It does look cool. Um, I know you can't really see it on your copy, but um, there is some blue across the whole sky. Can't really tell. Yeah, the, the, there it is. Okay, yeah. So you'll see the colors. It definitely will pop when, when he does. When he puts the final design up, you'll be able to see how colorful it is. Um, Bob Jimenez is joining us. He says talent. Thank you, sir. Is that Coach in. Jimenez? I don't know, Bob. That's awesome. Oh, I said Jimenez. Yeah, it's Jimenez. 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 Um, Jimenez. Well, oh, has, how many times has he heard that <laughs> in his life? Gringos who can't pronounce a name. <laughs> Mike Ferrucci said, awesome job as always, Johnny Jalopy. Looks Thank great. You. John Devery says, looks great. I don't want to ruin that part. No, that's good. Again, you're not really seeing the full color of this thing, guys. It really looks fantastic on his screen. It's just not a very good shot from the camera. So again, I think it's your 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 lens. Well, let's look it up on my phone and see there because that'll be the yeah, telltale. Be good for sure. You gotta sign it anyways. You do have to sign it anyways. <clears throat> and did coach was it coach? I don't know. He didn't say. Coach, is that you? Uh, Robert D. Del Castillo, loving it from the islands, he says. Hey, how are you? Fantastic. Thank you for joining us. Draco said, very cool job tonight. Thanks, Draco. I love the sand, too, the way you did that effect. Again, from the Sketchable app. Fantastic. Just a fun little doodle. Not Just a lot of detail. Doodle. I mean, there's not a ton of detail in there at all. Yeah. my phone. Yeah. That's not what it looks like. Maybe it's not as bright as what it's, you're saying? It's you can't too bright. see any of the blue in here. All right, well, let's... Come on now. Nope. No? Nope. Again, guys, once he, once he posts the final, we'll be able to see the color. Yeah, because it's very, it's very thin, but it's very good. Yeah. It's too bright. All right, guys. We'll have to get a new camera. Yep. Add it to the list of <laughs> stuff we need for the broadcast. Well, there you go. Well, there you go. Another Monday night in the books. In Hopefully the you had book. fun. I cool. hope some of you sketched along with me. Um, I know we kind of like went off the rails as far as doing a, a play by play on that. But please share on the on my page. Uh, if you I did draw, if you did draw along, or if you uh, you know, you're inspired by the same doodle. Let's see your uh, scenes your, from Trog. Your rendition, yeah. yeah, for sure. That'd be fun. And share it on the page and say, hey, to to episode uh, whatever episode we're on. 16. 16. Five, Just a 16. nod to that episode, and it was fun watching. And maybe so I thought do, it go. Maybe do your version of the West Coast. Holy cow, that computer's bad. Oh, this? Yeah, yeah I know. 
Yeah. If we can get that fixed. We'll need a new one. Anywho. In any case. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so. Guys, thank All right, you guys. as always for joining us. Hey, uh, don't forget to hit up the website. Uh, sure. Lots of cool stuff. Uh, we got hats, shirts, hats, stickers, beanies, beanies uh, tons new, of new art. merch, tons of and art. lots of art. This print is available for 20 bucks plus shipping on our website, johnjalopi.com. Make sure you hit it up. And as always, thanks for uh, hanging out with us. Please share and let your friends know. Uh, Sketchy Live is a good time watching us banter and me being quiet and it'd be trying to figure out what to say. For now. Always a fun time. <laughs> maybe she, yelled yeah, maybe she might, maybe she'll prepare in the future. Just, I, I, yeah. I have never prepared. For I, and it shows. <laughs> I've never prepared for the show because I don't need to, because all oh. of you have so much, you add to it. This show wouldn't even be possible without, without your you. comments, yeah. Without your checking input, in, without your input, without your laughing at me, and I am not afraid to laugh at myself. So that's why it works. If I was easily offended, and, um, uh, and then it wouldn't show up. Sometimes there's a drawing happening. Sometimes, <laughs> not always, just about me. <laughs> it's not. No. <laughs> anyway. Well, what's that? Nah, Wait for you to do the sign off. Which sign off? Oh, <laughs> finger guns. Stay sketchy. We'll see you guys next Monday. <laughs> <laughs>